Read and understand the Machine Operator's Manual and ensure that you are fully trained in how to use your equipment. Always check for hazards in the workplace. Ensure your workplace is clean and free from flammable or combustible material, especially where the welding is being conducted and check where welding or grinding sparks might go. Make sure your workplace is well lit and ventilated and that the appropriate firefighting equipment is close at hand. Inspect your welding machine for visual damage and exposed connections. Inspect the condition of all cables and cable connections. Work return lead and clamp, electrode holder and cable, primary cable and plug. Inspect the condition of the plug. In Australia, there are both 10 and 15 amp plugs. Ensure that the 15 amp plug has not been tampered with. Only a qualified electrician should change plugs. Ensure your fume extractor is on and you are wearing the correct personal protective equipment such as safety footwear, protective clothing, welding helmet and gloves. You may also require a respirator for some applications. Ensure your gloves are dry and in good condition. Connect the work return lead and electrode holder to the machine. Ensure that the on-off switch is in the off position. Connect the primary cable and plug to the appropriate wall socket. Now switch on the wall socket. Switch on the machine, set to the appropriate settings for your welding. Never change the work return lead or electrode holder unless the equipment has been switched off and the primary cable has been removed from the outlet socket. Working with gas is as easy as BOC. Come and see us in store or check us out online.